one of the real big questions that I suppose has come into my brain over the past few years, you know, when you see sort of things like uh, like slut shaming and to a nearer extent pet shaming um, has been what is the reason for shame? What, 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 what purpose does it serve? Is it sociologically necessary? Um, and is it exclusively a human thing? I mean, obviously, when you know we have uh, dogs, particularly, you know, if they've been in some kind of accident, and there's a potential risk of them irritating the wounds, you know, through their normal cleaning process, um, then you know we have the thing, the big cone, which has been called the cone of shame, um, which is a bit strange for me because you know, do dogs feel shame? And yet. On the flip side, I kind of think, well, maybe they do, because you see them often when they know they've done something wrong, and, you know, the mummy or daddy comes home, and, you know, they're kind of like, oops, I, uh, yeah, I, I pooped in your shoe. Sorry. You know, and you can, they do have that sort of, well, hangdog expression. Um, you know, that's very much like, please forgive me. And it is... So it is one of the elements that, that's got me thinking about, you know, the necessity and the origin of shame. And, like I say, its usefulness from a societal perspective. So, shame's origins seem to stem in many things at uh, more primitive origins. Uh, for example, a lot of shame's use in society, really, does come from when people perhaps are selfish rather than perhaps more altruistic and selfless um, you know we we are quick to shame say big companies that are avoiding taxes because we have to pay them um, and we're not running away and doing that and you know if they actually paid their taxes they could solve a lot of problems and you know balance out the debts better and things like that so really it's shameful they should know better and we do use that, and it does appear, in, in most circumstances, like I say, to be a, a social standing kind of situation. It is tied to embarrassment, you know, and embarrassment is, is felt by an individual when they know they haven't acted in society's best interest, really. If anything is looked down upon, um, you know, whether it be to actual legal levels or just just you know societal norms there is often that feeling of embarrassment um, that comes with it you know and it's quite interesting how the two obviously are linked because they are clearly ways of us interacting better as a species they are there for that purpose the the greater good um, and it is interesting that a lot of people on a totally unconscious level will shy away from people who don't feel embarrassed at certain things because they are there's that association of they're obviously not bothered about what they're doing they're not working for the greater good of the tribe or whatever you know that mentality is still there but as i say it's 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 all tied to shame which is really the 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 core of this and uh as i say it, it clearly shows our reasons, but does it exist anywhere else? I mean, it's, it, it did get me sort of in research mode and uh, have found some strange findings. There are reports of uh, certain sort of cleaner rasses um, who have a sort of, I suppose, symbiotic relationship with uh, certain types of fish. Um, you know, I mean, that they sort of clean, as implied in their name, uh, their host, if you will, who's kind of like the wheelman, I guess, um, in exchange, as I say, for, for transport and, you know, and everything like that. But the selfish ones, the ones who will just take a few scales, you know, on purpose, and maybe even take a good chunk of flesh, um, are shamed, really. You know, the, the, the process is still there. They are, they are ostracised. They are kind of, I don't know, avoided, I guess, by, by the fish who they would normally be involved with. 
and obviously that impacts on their ability to get around and get a good food source. So there is that shame element which obviously keeps them good um, and, and pure, I guess. You know, so clearly there is uh, evidence in animals for this kind of idea uh, for this process. So it does lead me back though to the main point is shame necessary and I think really the true answer to this is yes it is without it we don't really have our inner guilt which in a lot of people is fine you know but I don't think people would be as socially motivated um, certain studies have, have kind of backed this up with people being monitored when there is an honesty box for say payments of tea and coffee compared to when they're not being watched and most people will actually put a little extra in when they know they're being observed so the knowledge of being observed kind of puts that guilt mode in to prevent if you will the shaming that will come afterwards and the embarrassment and generally leads to better social interaction and better people so don't worry about feeling embarrassed about something you've done the fact that you can acknowledge that you've done something and you feel ashamed of it and, and guilty and embarrassed is a positive thing it's what moves society as a social species we kind of really do benefit from it so until next time take care